Now, what is this Dharma, the teaching that the Buddha taught? The Buddha called his teaching by the word Dharma, which Sanskrit word was not very current in the previous Vedas culture. The great Patrick Alavel says that he only finds 17 instances of the word Dharma in the pre-Buddhist writings of the ancient Brahminical scholars. The Sanskrit word later is analyzed by Buddhist scholars, Vasubandhu in particular, in the fourth century or fifth, early fifth, uh, to have at least 11 different meanings, ranging from simply quality of something through the thing itself, the phenomenon or a noumenon, through the meanings of custom, duty, religion, and law, all of which we could call pattern maintaining meanings in the in a Parsonian language, a you know, social science type of language. And then Buddha added to this meanings, teaching, virtuous practice, path, and virtue even, or even the reality itself that is taught. The highest being nirvana, freedom from suffering. So dividing these 11 meanings in those two halves, pattern maintaining and pattern transcending, the five higher ones are all pattern transcending. Teaching is pattern transcending because you learn new things and you behave in new ways. Path is pattern transcending because you leave an old place and come to a new one. Reality is pattern transcending because it frees you from suffering, actually, according to Buddha's understanding of it. All of the meanings of the word dharma come from the verbal root dr, which is uh, cognate with Latin habio, and means to hold. The first set of holdings means structuring things, behavior, mind, and belief in certain patterns, you know, law and so on. And the second set, the pattern transcending set, means holding a being in a new place, a positive educational and evolutionary trend. Finally, in the summum bonum, the highest good of the blissful freedom from suffering of nirvana. So that dharma as reality means Buddha's, in, reflects Buddha's insight, which is why he was smiling and why he was so happy, which is that reality holds you free from suffering when you overcome your misunderstanding of that reality and you know its true nature, then you realize that life is bliss, actually, is what Buddha's great discovery was. The latest research attests to the fact that it was the Buddha himself that added the later set of pattern transcending meanings to the word in its pattern maintaining uses, transvaluing the word to serve his liberative revolution.